Hey, what's going on guys? So today I just want to do a quick video for you guys. Uh, the tweaks that I'm using on my iPad Pro. Um, I like to keep it real basic so it doesn't, have, it doesn't have any fancy themes or whatnot. Just the basics to make it functional and uh, feature driven. Alright, so first off, uh, I like to start off with uh, the add-on I put on YouTube. So YouTube is probably the, the app I use the most on my iPad. So first off, uh, I'm going to show you right here in the settings menu. So it's the Cube tweak here. So what that does is uh, it basically, I'll show you right here, block the ads, uh, play in the background if you want, select the quality you want to be uh, for the default quality. So that's really a good tweak to use if you use your iPad every day. Then I like to use Kodi. This is also found in Syria. I'll show you right here. So I put the TV add-ons uh, package on uh, on Kodi right here. What that does is it allows me to basically stream any TV shows, movies, uh, whatever you want, even live TV. So I'll give you a quick demo here. So for example, if I want to watch uh, the Walking Dead, right? So, input that in, and here it is. It's basically a Netflix, but kind of free, right? It's streaming. Uh, for example, I choose the first episode here. I run through the sources, and then all you gotta do is uh, once that's done, in a, in a moment here. There we go. So you can just choose a source. And watch it so it's quite cool I use that a lot too uh, now moving on to more serious tweaks I use the first one I'll show you right here and it's called bioprotect what that does is basically you can add a fingerprint touch ID to enter apps you want to, to protect from uh, people who use your iPad so for example, if you want to go to multitask, I set so that you need to put in your touch ID to access, right? So now you can lock in, lock down your photos if you don't want any people to uh, have a glance at your photos, right? All right, so now you may ask, how do I get this awesome blurred background effect when I open any uh, apps which prompts me a dialogue? Well, this I use Paler. So this tweak is basically enables you to set, uh, instead of the white square, you get this awesome blurred background here with uh, awesome redesigned buttons. Also works with the text input. So this really just brings a nicer look to the iOS system, spice things up. Now moving on, we have uh, the font that I'm using, of course. Well, I also have Animal installed, but I don't have any themes right now because I haven't still found a great theme for the iPad. Uh, so if you have any suggestions, please comment them down below. Now I want to show you my font that I'm using through Battlefront 3. So this is called San Francisco Light iOS 9. So it's really important when you download a font through Battlefront 3 that you choose specifically the ones for by the font 3 not by the font 1 not by the font 2 but specifically for, for by the font 3 or else it won't work so here it is great font great tweaks uh, i hope you enjoyed this video give it a like subscribe and i hope to see you on my next video peace out guys